Now to breaking news. The U.S. Supreme Court unanimously rejected an effort to restrict access to the abortion pill. A group of anti-abortion doctors questioned the FDA's decision to make it easier to get mifepristone. The court ruling means that opponents cannot sue over ideological or moral issues. Another regulatory decision left in place means women can still obtain the pill within 10 weeks of gestation instead of seven. And happening right now in the WREL Life Center, we're monitoring reaction to this news, Renee. First, I want to show you a tweet from Attorney General Josh Stein. He posted this to X, writing, The Supreme Court rejected a lawsuit challenging the regulation of the abortion pill, Mifepristone. This ruling preserves our recent win here in North Carolina defending Mr. P Mifepristone. We must prevail in November to protect women's reproductive freedoms. I am checking uh, Governor Cooper's Twitter. He has not tweeted anything as of yet, uh, but another representative here that is actually uh, voicing his opinion as well, Representative Jamie Raskin of Maryland, saying today is a victory for people who think we should all make our own medical decisions with our doctors, and he writes, in the end, the fight for freedom and health care does continue. 